ان الذين اذا نسون المصحف الكريم كتاب الله فجر غادرون But hatred for the West is not limited to the Islamic world. Radical Islam has for years been spreading its ideology in the West. This jihad rally is taking place on the streets of London. The infiltration of radical Islam is so deep, it's shocking. And everyone's in denial about it. The minute you say, oh, this is an extremist group, you know, all of a sudden, it's, oh, you're not being politically correct. You have Al-Muhajirun, who's an open-fledged terrorist entity, speaking out on the streets, calling for Muslims to jihad against Britain. We've been infiltrated by people who want the... Quran to replace our constitution. We went. I went in 1995 and saw posters saying that they were going to the Old Testament. Finished. From the from the from the mosques, from some of the mosques. And what were they going to the Old Testament? I mean, there was someone who said in his speech that we are going to the Old Testament at this time to see that God is going to save us from Islam and to turn the Old Testament to the Old Testament. يعني هيروحوا يحتلوا البيت الابيض يعني ولا لا ب ب ب ب بسواد الاسلام وافكاره سوف يتغير البيت الابيض حماس has the largest infrastructure of all terrorist organizations on american soil today they are not trying to be part of the american way of life they are not trying to be part of our culture they are here with an agenda to make islam the law of the land just to show where our loyalty belongs to. You see this flag here? It's gonna go on the floor. And to us, our loyalty does not belong to this flag. Our loyalty belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Of course not all Muslims are like that. But we've been infiltrated with this kind of agenda. And uh, America has to wake up because we are strangling ourselves with our political correctness. There is tremendous deception in terms of saying one thing publicly and another thing privately. Yasser Arafat obviously was the master of this dual agenda in terms of openly supporting pluralism or nonviolence or condemning terrorism. I condemn completely these terrorist activities and then secretly or behind closed doors supporting it. Sometimes you would find a Muslim who appears to be moderate. We were the first, as you may remember, post September the 11th, who said that the actions of flying planes full of innocent civilians into buildings is not legitimate. But uh, in his deeds, uh, he's not uh, as moderate as uh, he is. We are here to talk about the Magnificent 19. Those who two years ago today split the world into two camps, into the camp of Islam and the camp of non-Islam or Kufr. Those who revived the obligation of Jihad worldwide. The Magnificent 19, they were praising the hijackers, celebrating the attacks on New York. The deception is so high and so successful that I'm afraid we're losing the battle. In order to expose British terror groups like Al Mahujaroon and supporters of Sharia, Glenn Genvy collaborated with Jonathan Galt and acquired recordings of the group's meetings held in London mosques. The tapes reveal open incitement to violence and terror, in particular from Abu Hamza al Masri, who calls upon followers to kill the Kufar or non Muslims. Abu Hamza, in one of the clips, is talking about the word Kufa, that if you are not a Muslim and you live in a Muslim land, you are like a cow. That's his word. You see, the Islamic rule, if a Kafir goes into a Muslim country and he's walking by, he's like a cow going, anybody could take him. That is the Islamic rule, and this is the opinion of the Fuqaha. It's not my opinion. If you read the books of, of Jihad, you'll see. You can take him to market 
you can sell him. Uh, Kafir is walking by. He went, he went inside. You catch him. What are you doing here? Then he's a boot. You can sell him the market. You can kill him. If Muslims cannot take them to the, to the you know, and sell them in the, in the market, then you just kill him. It's okay.